Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, very, very hot outside today, so uh, we're inside the workshop, keeping cool in the shade. And uh, 1968 Morris Minor. Um, this was my car. Had it quite a while, about 20 years or so. Uh, made a couple of videos on it, basically trying to get it started. But um, today I'm going to have a look at the carburetor because I bought a refurbishment kit. It's a standard carburetor. Bought a refurbishment kit, so I'm going to take this one off, get you guys in with me, and um, we're going to strip it down and hopefully uh, get it serviced and running a little bit better. So uh, let's go. Let's get in on it. Mm, so there's the carburetor, standard thing, uh, inch and a quarter SU carburetor. Uh, I did notice I got a split in my fuel line all the way around there so we're going to be replacing that as well uh, but basically i'm going to take this off and uh, let's have a look inside let's see what we're up against today so i'll take the air box off first everything on the car standard apart from the alternator Ugh. apart from the alternator which has been uh, sorry the dynamo which has been changed to an alternator mm. Nice smell of petrol in there, which they would be because it's a carburetor. So what needs to come off now? We need to disconnect the uh, choke cable. We need to disconnect the throttle cable. Advance and retard wire can come off. And then there's just two bolts there off onto the bench and we'll, we'll strip it down. Have a look inside. Because I'm at a lot of problems. So as you can see we've got the carburetor off, disconnected the choke cable, the uh, accelerator cable etc. Fuel lines split, I'm going to get a new one of those, it's split all the way around so we'll uh, probably the uh, old petrol that's done that. The uh, gaskets look well past the sell by date so we'll scrape those clean, just make sure we haven't got any uh, vacuum leaks in there. In fact they're next to useless really, so uh, mm, piece of stone. Never mind. Right, to the bench and uh, let's get the carburetor stripped down. Got myself a nice clean magnetic dish to put all the bits in. Uh, we're a bit stuck for workspace, so I'm on top of the tool chest um, and we'll we'll get this stripped down. The, uh, yeah, let's have a look inside. Doesn't seem to be too much play on that, but... Uh, I got all the kit, so uh, we may as well. That looks well worn there, as though something's been pulling in on that one. But uh, we'll strip it down and have a look. Ah, okay. Yeah, what's happening is when you pull the choke mechanism, then uh, the tube comes out the bottom like that. When you push the choke back in, sometimes it's sticking. And it's only going in halfway, so she's running really rich. Right, so uh, just let me show you what we've got as uh, regards of replacement parts. We've got a SU gasket kit. We've got a new needle. We've got a new float needle and seat. We've got a new tube, emulsifying tube, uh, and some clips and a new spring for the bottom. So uh, that's what we're going to be replacing today. Let's start with it. Let's get on. Alright, first things first, let's have a look inside here and see how much stuff is inside. That's uh, one out, oh wow, magnet works. Two out. And the clip. Little aluminium tag, there's a gasket in here. Not sure if that's in the kit, so I might have to be careful with that one. And I suspect this in here just gently ease it off sticking at the back everything swimming in petrol V 
very, very gently. Where's my gasket extraction tool? There we go. Got it in one. There's the float chamber and the uh, seat and needle is inside there. That's what we're going to be replacing. That uh, basically sits like that. So when the uh, fuel's inside, it pushes that closed, which cuts it off. If that's faulty, it, um, that's, that's where it shuts off. And if that's faulty, that's when you get carburetor flooding using more fuel. Wow. Not that you can see that. I'm not inside there, but uh, there's some... Uh, there's some bits and bobs in there. Look at that. There we go. Crud. Can you see it? On the end of my finger. Pure crud. So that's going to get a clean out. Don't lose that. That's your joke cable connector. Wow. Yeah, there's some, uh, there's some rubbish in the bottom of there. No wonder she's running rough. Right, swirl pot off next. Let's have a look in there. There we go. There's the needle valve and slider. There's the spring and there's the float inside there. A little bit of light oil in there. You've got to make sure you put the right one in so that just floats up and down like that. Okay, so. When that turns on, that should go down. It does. Can you see inside there? That's the, uh, and, and it's sticking. You see how it's stuck? It's only gone so far back, but it's stuck. So I need to address that sticking and that's what it does look. So the choke's still on the hand. You have to keep getting out of the car and just shoving that back in. So that's telling me that uh, that slider's worn inside there. So uh, yeah, we'll have a look at that. Right, so I've got the uh, the choke emulsifying tube out the bottom. Uh, just, I'm just gonna clean that up with some microboard. There's a little O-ring, little rubber there that's uh, perished. So we'll be replacing that. So next job, give all this a good clean with some brake cleaner and then we'll start putting it back together. Next job, margarine tub and the carburetor, little paintbrush, and we're just gonna give it a clean out with some brake cleaner and uh, catch it all in the tub and then we can, we can recycle then. Just make sure everything's nice and clean inside. Wow, there's some dirt on this. Some real bad tarnishing. A little blue, bit of blue paint on this brush still. The brake cleaner's bringing it out. It's not going to be perfect, but uh, you know, we're on a budget, so we've only got one can of brake cleaner. Give it the old rebuild. Right, top tip what I like to do get a piece of uh, wet and dry. This is 240 or micro mesh, whatever you call it. A little bit of uh, the old WD on there for lubrication. And then, nice flat surface, I just like to get that, and I just gently go backwards and forwards, and that just gets any little imperfections off the face, like that, and you can see the bits of gasket sticking to the, to the paper, and that's as smooth as a baby's bum, but uh, the secret here is keeping it flat. 
and the WD is just a little bit of lubricant, just polishes the surface and gets a nice smooth seal. Look at that. There you go, nice and smooth. Nice clean machine finished surface and you can do it on that one as well if you want. Just keep it flat, just go backwards and forwards. Gets all the old gasket residue off. And because it's only aluminium, it's nice and soft. There we go, look at that. Give that a wipe. That's got all the old bits of gasket off so the new one will seat really nice onto there. So, right, let's start uh, putting it back together. Uh, we've got the uh, new tube fitting back in with the new uh, washer, new O-ring in the bottom. Um, that little clip there took me about 15 minutes to get on. What a nightmare. I nearly cut my fingers open, but uh, we've managed to get it on. Um, so now, when you operate the choke mechanism, it's going out but not sticking, which is what we want because the old, the old one was sticking. So now we're going to go and replace the, um, yeah, what we're going to replace next. We'll replace the uh, needle, which is in that section. We'll clean that up and then um, that bit can go back together. So you need a flat blade screwdriver in there. Undo that. And the needle should just come out like that. And, uh, it doesn't look that bad really, but uh, we got a new one, so um, why not swap it? We've got the kit. It says it's a standard needle for a standard carburetor, is what we need. And they relieved me of £7.50 for the pleasure. So... Yeah, the only difference with this one is it shouldn't be worn. So we'll look at the old one against the new one. I mean, you can't really see with the naked eye, but uh, yeah, that should be a little bit better. So let's get that back in. And that now should go down the middle of that tube. Beautiful. And it does. Oh, that's nice and smooth. Brand new. Right, where's the spring? Put the spring back in. Whoop. That's gone, we'll never see that again. <laughs> there we go. Somebody's took the time to polish this in the past. And it doesn't look half bad. Not bad, that. Right, that on. And the cap. That's going up and down nicely. So is that, so is that. So now we're into the needle valve and float. Oh, we had a new spring then, I didn't put it on. I've used the old one. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, so that's uh, old parts. Old parts. Right, now we're onto this bit. So I'll move that out of the way. There's the gasket. We can get that out because we've got a new one. Gently tap that, old parts and just gently pull the pin out a little bit more until the float comes out like so there's the needle and it's pointed end in all parts now there's some sort of special tool to get that in, isn't there? So we need a little socket to get on there. I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, what you're going to need is a long reach socket like that. It is a, 
eight millimeter slides over there and just undoes that nice so you can unscrew that brass fitting out of the end there we go use parts because we've got a new one in here so pointed end which is there inside perfect and then the new one can screw into that the little long reach long reach eight mil socket Now there was no uh, no gasket on that, so just gently doesn't have to be tight. Just nip that so it can't fall out. Float back in, line it up, push the pin through. It's one side in, and there's like little knurl marks on this where it just just bites in and that's where you need to stop just pushes in <laughs> don't be a fool like me i've put it in back to front what a mistake to make it so i'll take that back out again oh it's come out all the way this time yeah float goes that way boys and girls i've got it in the wrong way like my little hammer pins back in that should just move freely under its own weight and it does so that's perfect just clean the gasket face up on there because this for this leaks you're going to get a fuel leak under your bonnet so there's a bit of old residue on there and there wonder what uh, all things Morris is doing. I bet he's not doing his fuel pump on his Morris van for the show on Sunday. Just torqueize these up. My hand is so greasy with all this oil and petrol. I can't grip the screwdriver properly. Just torqueize that down. One elbow click. There we go. Good as new. Better than when it left the factory. Carburetor's back together. Um, we've new float needle gasket. We've put the new tube in. New fittings, rubber grommet at that end because that was weeping. That's not sticking anymore. The uh, swirl pot goes up and down. Beautiful inside. Everything's back together and clean. Just give it a final final clean off and then we'll uh, let that evaporate and then we'll put it back together clean these off that's the uh, spacer block which uh, as you can see I've seen better days so there is a gasket there that's had it I'll clean that off get my scraper which is my best wood chisel for doing my joinery work but uh, needs must That's coming straight off. Oh, don't let that drop in there. I don't want to fire. So that's that. That's cleaned and scraped. Bit of fine tuning with the razor blade. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll get you in a minute, show you what I'm doing. The better the job is here, yeah, the better the vacuum is. So this is what I'm doing just there, just cleaning that face up on that gasket there, if you can see. Making it brand new, because if you don't get that clean, the gasket won't seat, and then you're going to get an air leak in and it, your mixture is going to be all over the place. So, brand new gasket on there. Clean the face of that up, that goes that way. And then we've got another brand new gasket out of the kit for the carburetor side. There. Sealed. There we go. Right, we'll get the carb back on now, get it all connected back up, and uh, see if we can get it running.
we've got the carburetor fixed back on we've got the throttle cable linkage in we've got the choke cable didn't think you wanted to see that because it's took me about 20 minutes to get it on bit fiddly bit boring but it's uh, just one of those things now i'm just going to put a little dab of oil in there it's only thin light hydraulic oil uh, two or three squirts what you want to do is just make sure that a little bit of resistance very thin oil uh, three in one something like that light oil bit of ATF will do it uh, you can buy the proper stuff um, but uh, like, I, like I said we're on a budget and we've got some thin hydraulic oil so uh, you know we're gonna use it it's good enough yeah that's perfect no resistance there whatsoever so a little bit of that in choke cables on that's that Right, I'm going to try and find a bit of fuel cable, a bit of fuel line now and replace this that's got the split in it. Well, it's not split, it's scored. So we'll have a look, see what we've got in the stores. Right, it's back together, 1968 uh, Morris Minor. Um, we had a pig of a job with the uh, accelerator cable. I've ordered a new one because the old, the one that's on there now has frayed. A couple of the, uh, the couple of the strands have frayed off and it was catching on the inner lining. So I've stripped it all down, I've unwound them, snipped them off. Uh, it's temporary, I've ordered a new one. Um, and then we broke the little connecting bolt where the cable goes through, over tightened it, that sheared off. So uh, that's um, all that's left of it, just there. So we have to make a new one. Uh, it took about half an hour to precise drilling with the uh, hand drill. Uh, I've got it all back together. New air filters in, um, there's no leaks, waiting on the fuel line to arrive, that should be coming on Tuesday I think, uh, but yeah it's all back together. We've set the choke on the cam, got that running nice, uh, just letting it warm up and I'm going to adjust the tick over, but uh, yeah, that's about it for that one. Uh, I think we're off to a car show in it tomorrow, so uh, we'll have to wait and see if we get there or not, but we'll take some tools with us. Um, there's nothing coming out the exhaust, no smoke, no unburnt fuel, uh, it's nice and dry inside the pipe so it's not claggy or anything, um, I'm going to just leave it running for 10 minutes, I'm going to whip a plug out and uh, we'll have a look at that. I've got the uh, tachometer inside set at about 800 so it's just ticking over beautiful, new needle valve in. Um, and complete refurbishment of the carburetor. All shiny and new, new gaskets, everything, there you go. Yeah, that's working, she just stuttered a little bit. So, uh, timing, timing's okay. Everything seems to be working, she's ticking over lovely. Like a sewing machine. Let's do the restart test. Like I say, the uh, accelerator cable packed in. And we've had to restrand it. So there we go, switched it off. Okay, let's turn on the key. Charge the lights on. Gentle touch of the accelerator. Charge light goes out. Perfect. There you go, 1968 Morris Minor. So next challenge is to get it off the lift and get it outside and uh, take it for a drive. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it uh, technically interesting or anything. You know, if uh, any comments, leave them in the box below and uh, I do read them all. Um, there's good ones, there's bad ones, but we take it all on the chin. Be consider subscribing and uh, pressing the like button. It would help us out no end. And uh, that's it. We'll see you... Uh, when it breaks down again and we have to do something else on it you know these things happen so uh, like i say we're off to a car show tomorrow whether we get there or not is uh, a different thing so um that's it from us buzzer's down there he wants to go home so we're going to clean up and uh, get the car outside and uh, we'll see you on the next video so uh, thank you very much and uh, have a great bank holiday weekend we'll see you <laughs>